I'm going to show you how you can dimension to a post to beam railing on a deck system. Okay. Let me just switch my save plan view here. And then I want to double click on my wall tools to set my new deck railing. So I'm going to double click on this deck railing defaults and I'm going to do a few things here. One is that I'm going to go ahead and set this to post to beam. Keep in mind, this is changing all my defaults. So the next wall I draw with, that's a railing wall. That's what's going to happen. And then in my Newells and Ballisters panel, okay, down at the bottom underneath plan display, I'm going to uncheck use defaults. And I only want to draw the Newells. That's it. I don't want to draw rails or anything else, the Ballisters panel. So I'm going to draw the Newells. There we go. Underneath rail style, I want to make sure also that I have auto post half. So I only want to draw a half. Uh, of a post at at the um, at my ends. In in the case that you want a full size post, go ahead and set this up here as well. Auto post done, auto post full. You can do that. And then the last thing I'd like to do in this case is under wall types. I'm going to define my deck railing fence, and I'm actually going to make this a partition wall. This makes it so that it's not pushing through to the main layer of my building. So in this case, I'm saying that my post is going to be outside of the surface layer of my building envelope. Let me go ahead and press OK. And now I'll draw out that deck. The last thing I actually forgot to do here was I'm going to select these walls and I'm going to go ahead and change their properties in general panel to uncheck no locate. This means we'll pick up these dimensions from that auto exterior dimension. And then I want to get into the default settings for my plan and underneath the walls, general wall defaults, I want to make sure that auto merge collinear walls is unchecked. This means if you put a break in a wall, if the, the model rebuilds, it's not going to merge a collinear wall of the same wall type. Okay. Does that mean? That means I can now take my break tool, which is in my edit toolbar, add a break. Here you go. I'm going to add a break to this wall again happens from here is I'm going to modify my automatic dimensions here and I'm just going to be able to drop in a dimension straight to those breaks. From here I want to click that line segment number three and in my edit toolbar our mark is center line. Here we go line segment four. If I click that get that correct. There we go mark is center line. So now I have a center line mark at my newel posts. Okay. Same thing. I'm just going to break this here. That's going to make it so that I can pick this up as well. Now, something you might want to do, and I'll mark this as center line, is that maybe I want these walls spaced evenly. Okay. So maybe in this case, I actually want this wall on the other side to be even the wall on the left hand side, or excuse me, on the right hand side. So now I have an equal distribution here, right? Maybe it's that I want same thing here. I want to stretch this to the point where it's at the center line of the room. So I might need to draw a little inference line, something like drawing a line in between the length here and then picking up that midpoint. Now I can take this wall and move it to that midpoint, snap it to it. Now I know that this is on a center line and I can get rid of those line segments. So it's possible from here that maybe it's just that in the field, I want this to be a specific dimension. Let's just go ahead and grab this. We'll grab this and we're going to change this dimension. And we notice here that I'm moving the right side end. Okay, so I'm going to make this a six foot six designation. So I can do the same thing on this side. I can move this length right here. And I want to move it. This time I want to move the left end and make this a six foot six designation. Okay. From here, I want to take this this segment right here and I'm going to hit the add additional text button to this particular segment and I'm going to suppress the dimension value and I'm going to say equal EQ and same thing I'll do this segment here add additional text click on this suppress the dimension value EQ now I'm showing that I've got equal spacing to our first set of newels and then six foot six in between and here's our center line to those pretty clear there Hope that helps you out.